Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem one dash four. So the statement of problem is the shaft is supported by smooth thrust bearing at A. So this is shaft which is supported at A. That is thrust smooth thrust bearing and a smooth journal bearing at B. And this shaft is supported at point B with by a smooth journal bearing. The deter determine the internal result loading acting on cross section at C. So there is a loading 600 newton per meter that is acting on this section. So you have to determine the internal loading at point C. Again for solving this problem you have to cut this uh, shaft over here at point C. Now you will have two portion. One is this one and the second is this one. So first of all you have to find the uh, reaction forces due to this smooth journal bearing and uh, sorry thrust bearing and uh, smooth journal bearing at point B. So for that we have to draw the free Y diagram. So if I remove this uh, journal bearing, so there will be a normal force that is acting upward and this force is AY and there will be a horizontal force that is AX. Similarly, for point B smooth journal bearing, there will be only a vertical force which is represented as BY. So you have to find this uh, reaction forces first uh, in order to uh, carry on to find out the internal forces at point C. So what we do is that we will uh, find this uh, reaction force BY and we will take the right section from point C in order to find the internal loading. So let's start we will take the moment sum of all moment about point A must be equal to 0. So you can see uh, that and the counterclockwise movement is positive. Now uh, due to this load BY it will produce a movement about point A and this movement will be a counterclockwise. So BY into perpendicular distance is you can see 1.5 plus 3 which is 4.5 clear one moment is this the second moment is due to this load of 900 newton about point a and this will be also clockwise so this will be negative so minus uh, 900 into perpendicular distance is now 3 plus 3 which is 6 clear and the third uh, moment which is produced due to this load 600 and this 600 is acting on a length of 2 meters. So this load will be acting on the middle and this load will be equal to 600 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 1200. Clear? And this movement will be again clockwise movement because it is producing clockwise movement about point A. So it uh, this will be this movement will be minus 600 multiplied by 2 and the perpendicular distance is also 2. So when you solve this, uh, so you will get BY and I have already solved it. So BY is equal to 1733.3 Newton. Now you have this value. You, you, you can also find AY and AX, but it is not needed because you are taking this section on the right side of the C. So we have BY is equal to 1733.3 Newton. So what we will do is that we will cut this beam at point C and uh, we will draw the free body, free body diagram. So I will draw the free body diagram. So let this is the some portion and then there is uh, shaft this is point B where a load of BY acting clear this is a point D where 900 Newton is acting clear now you can see this 600 is again this this from this point to this point this distance was 
one meter clear so from this point to this point this distance is 1.5 meter and from this to this also 1.5 meter you can see that the load that is acting on this one meter is 600 into one and that will be acting at the middle so this is again 600 into one meter the distributed load is converted into concentrated load and that will be acting at a distance of 0 0.5 from this side or from this side so this distance is 0 0.5 meter so again if you cut the beam at point c so there will be a shear force i will draw it by using another color so there will be a shear force that is acting since it is acting at point c so it will be vc there will be a normal force that is nc and again there will be a moment that is mc so we have to find this internal loading so first of all we have to take sum of all forces in our x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is positive so you can see only horizontal force is nc so there is no other force so it means that nc is equal to zero then we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all force in a y direction is equal to zero and upward force is positive so here you can see there are four forces one is one is vc the second is 600 newton the third one is by and the fourth one is 900 their sum must be equal to zero so vc is acting upward so vc is positive similarly minus 600 which is acting downward and then there is upward force which is by and by is 1733.3 newton and there is downward force of 900 newton which is acting downward their sum must be equal to zero so when you solve this so you will get vc is equal to minus 233 newton now we have assumed the shear force at point c is upward bit here the answer is minus 233 newton it means that our assumption of taking this vc upward is wrong so vc should be downward clear now we will find the sum of all movement about point c must be equal to zero taking the counterclockwise as positive so here you can see there is external movement or reaction movement that is clockwise so again this will be minus mc clear then there is a, a movement caused by due to this force 600 and the perpendicular distance will be 0, 0 0.5 so 600 multiplied by 0 0.5 and this movement will be clockwise because it is producing clockwise movement about point c the third uh, movement the another movement that is caused by due to this force by so by is 1733.3 and the perpendicular distance is again 2.5 meter clear 2.5 meter and this force is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be plus the another movement due to this 900 newton force is 900 into perpendicular distance is 3 plus 1 which is 4 so 4 is e into 4 and this producing clockwise movement so it will be a negative 1 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you calculate this you will get this movement movement is equal to 433 newton into meter clear now this uh, movement about point c is 433 newton into meter and since it is taken in clockwise direction so this movement is 433 newton meter in clockwise direction clear so we have find out the internal loading at point c due to the loading that is shown over this shaft i will repeat you can also take this right left section as well uh, and if you calculate it you will get the same value of the shear force you will get the same movement about point c but for that you have to take the uh, here we have taken the movement about 
point A is equal to zero. If you want to take the left section clear, so here uh, you have to take the moment about point B is equal to zero. So you will get this A Y and A X clear. Once you get A Y and A X, so you can cut this section and you can uh, draw the free Y diagram like this and can solve to get the uh, internal loading at point C. I hope you have now a clear understanding of how to solve these type of problems. Thank you for watching my videos.